get a check of our forecast. And for that, let's check in with meteorologist Devin Lucy at Sunrise Elementary for today's weather school. Hi, Devin. Thanks so much. We are here at Sunrise Elementary for Midday Weather School. And we've we talked a little weather so far today, have we not? Okay, we're back with one of our bigger schools here. We've brought in all five of our fourth grade classes today where we should be fresh today, correct? And all well rested out of having a fun day yesterday because we didn't come here, did we? Hi, how you doing? Awesome. Do I know what? I'm a clever scientist oh, when I grow up. Wait a minute here. Hold on I here. am keeping track of weather for okay. daily times. Let me have the microphone back real quick and you can help me do the What's it's your name? It's 21, sir? Cameron. Okay, it's Cameron. I'll tell you. Outside. I love it. Can you help me tell the weather here in just one second and come back with me? Sure. All righty. Thanks so much, Cameron. That was awesome. We'll see you in a second, okay? I love that out there. The enthusiasm, meteorologists and weather folks. We'll get Cameron to help out here in just a little bit. It's totally fine, and I love it out there. But did you guys have a fine time yesterday? Yeah. This could be a time where maybe you can tell your kids the last time there was a snow day, right? When was the last time we had a snow day here in Salt Lake City? I saw this gentleman over here earlier with this answer, and what is your name, kind sir? Connor. Connor, when was the last time most of Salt Lake had a snow day? 1993. How old were you in 19... That's, don't answer that question, because I know the answer to that question in 1993. I'll tell you that I was in high school in 1993, <laughs> so that was quite an event. We heard that for the Canyon School District, are we in the Canyon School District? Yes. Which was our first snow day ever. So on top of snow, we talked briefly about that there was another big weather phenomenon that happened the last week or the week before, and that hit many other parts of the country. Who is listening can tell me what happened up in, oh my goodness, because this guy's wearing a football shirt. What city, what's your name, sir? Um, I'm Bobby. Bobby. So what happened last week and the week before that a lot of the country got? We just luckily missed it. Um, it dropped into the negatives in uh, mostly around the negative fives to the negative twenties. That's summer. right. And then they factored in another element, which was a strong what that made it even colder. Wind. That's right. And what do you call that? Wind chill. The wind chill. You see how good we're already listening here today. I love it. Now, I might be able to get some help from doing the weather here in a little bit if we want here in a second, if we want to bring people back over. But for the meantime, how about we see how everybody's great? You can look at Mr. John over here because you're on TV right now. And the rest of us will talk weather here for us as well. Go ahead and wave. That's fine. We've got at least the JD By Rider downtown cam with a little bit of cloud cover that's there. The avalanche, now the the avalanche conditions are extremely high too. Very high today as a matter of fact. So we're looking at real time temperatures. Cold enough for you out there today? Because we got temperatures still into the 20s in many locations. Temperatures that we're looking at here around the entire region too. Maybe typically some of our spots that could be warmer such as St. George, not so much. We've all been into the teens and 20s this morning and even here, we thought Ely was six below zero this morning. Did you know that? That's Ely, Nevada. So take a look at the bigger picture where that system's back to the east and that's back off now so far away that we're just pulling in the colder air behind it. Here in the high-res forecast, nothing goes the rest of today. By tonight, we get home, we have dinner. By the time we're getting to bed, we might see a few clouds roll back in. Maybe you can get a picture of those and send it to me too. And then we're looking towards this weekend. Friday looking good. However, Saturday, that's our next chance of snow. Do you think we're going to get a lot out of that? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, you're not going to be too happy with that. That forecast just showed maybe we get less than an inch out of it, maybe a coating. So sorry. So as we go to your forecast for southern Utah, we've got hardly anything coming our way. Maybe a sprinkle could come Saturday, Saturday night as well into Sunday. But it looks to be this next system is pretty weak. However... Next Sunday, Monday, that's eh, kind of still in question. We'll have to watch our next system. That could bring another snow chance here. Maybe some rain to St. George. But it's the end of next week. This could be another impressive storm. St. George, your seven-day forecast. We're looking for a sunny but cold day here today, only topping out at 43. For St. George, you know what that means? That means heavy winter coats and gloves and hats for St. George today. Okay, well, in St. George, that's right. But here in the Wasatch Front, we are looking for us to top out at only 28 today. And then we've got at least a chance of that snow this weekend and next week. But if I could look ahead to the end of next week, we could have another impressive system coming in. All right, Sunrise Elementary here in fourth grade classes. We've had fun so far? Yeah. Okay, what do you say we have a lot more fun? Yeah. 
Okay, we'll do that. We'll talk a little weather. We'll show some really cool mathematical equations, and then we'll talk more weather with you 25 more minutes away.